What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel and consider this video a public service announcement to all my guys and chicks out there who are playing Pokemon Go, having fun, walking around your neighborhoods, being safe, above and beyond being safe more so than anything else, but trying to catch them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon. If you're out there doing that um, and, and you're really interested in finding the Pokemon around you, you might find this article uh, kind of useful. They have developed a way for you to actually find out exactly what Pokemon are in your area live. And uh, some people might see it as a cheat. Some people might see it as a great way to get out and get more exercise with a mission or goal in mind. So depending on what kind of person you are when it comes to Pokemon, you might like this article. I'll drop a link in the description. The Pokemon Go map project reveals the location of every Pokemon around you. Finding all the best Pokemon and the most rare Pokemon in Pokemon Go requires a lot of walking and a fair bit of luck. Confronted with the prospect of exercise, some players have taken to their computers to develop an alternative. There's a project underway to create a tool that can show you every Pokemon near you on a live map. If you don't mind a little bit of fiddling with software, it totally works. Is it cheating? Maybe. Pokemon Go has a nearby feature that's supposed to give you a general feel for which Pokemon are close and which direction they might be. However, that has been broken for more than a week now. Developer Ahmed Amutawa wondered if there was a way to query the servers to extract more data than was displayed in the official game. It turns out, yes, a lot more. The Pokemon Go map project hosted on GitHub can chart the real-time locations of all nearby Pokemon on a map. Each one has an icon of their Pokemon, and clicking on it tells you how long until it disappears from that location. We've done a little bit of testing in this game for journalistic integrity and confirmed that the map is accurate. You run the script, open the browser tab, and use that to view a map frame that you can refresh as Pokemon locations are discovered. Unfortunately, the Pokemon map is not very easy to use right now. It requires setting up Python on your computer and running it via command lines. There have been some attempts to build easier tools based on this, but those are still pretty buggy. It's also likely that Nitanic will consider this an improper use of its servers, so you should not use your real Pokemon Go account for the mapping tool. Creating a new account for this will keep your real account from getting banned. Nitanic is currently coping with server issues and serious bugs in the game, so the Pokemon Go map project has flown under the radar so far. That probably won't last forever, though. So, there is a link in the description. You guys check that out if you're interested in trying out this uh, Pokemon Go map project. I'm not going to go to that kind of level to cheat in a game like this, but I know there's some people out there who are really interested in this game and, and probably super interested in getting more Pokemon in their friends. So if it's something you're interested in or something you would like to try, let me know in the comment section below. If you're like me and you don't want to get into Pokemon Go because you feel like it might take over more time than you want it to, also let me know that in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up, guys. Show support for the channel. The Beastly Nation is growing. You guys are amazing. Thank you all so much for supporting my channel. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Let it go.